Hey, Coach PJ Street with Revive Fitness Systems. So I was in a grocery store checkout line the other day, and I happened to be standing there waiting to get checked out, and I looked at the magazine display at the checkout line. I happened to see a, a, a woman's magazine. I believe it was Woman's World magazine, uh, which uh, is the worst offender of these type of claims. But the headline on this magazine cover was, you know, lose 10 pounds of fat in a week. And uh, you see this stuff a lot in these type of publications and online on social media, um, in advertisements online that, you know, it's for supplements or supplement companies or exercise gadgets or on infomercials late at night. You see these outrageous weight loss claims, a uh, huge amount of weight in a short period of time, right? They're everywhere. Um, and it's, it's a reason that the, the fitness and nutrition industry is a multi-billion dollar industry uh, because they make these exaggerated claims and they pull at people's heartstrings and give people hope that this type of uh, progress is possible, uh, quick fix, very fast. Okay, so, but anyway, it got me to thinking, if someone theoretically wanted to lose 10 pounds of body fat, not water, body fat in a week, what would that look like? Would it be feasible? Uh, what would that entail, et cetera? Okay, and again, I'm talking about body fat. I'm not talking about water. You'll see people go on low, low or no carbohydrate diets, and if they're used to eating a normal or high amount of carbohydrates, and they switch to a, a keto type approach or a very, some other variation of very low carb or no carb, um, it is, I, I've seen people drop five, seven, eight pounds in a week, um, but you have to understand that's just coming from, from water weight. It's not actual body fat. I'm not saying a percentage of it isn't because it is probably depending on if they're, how they're controlling their calories, uh, but most of it's water weight. That, that is possible to lose weight in, in that amount or close to it in a week because I've seen it happen, but I'm talking about body fat. What if you wanted to lose mostly body, there's always going to be some amount of water, but mostly body fat, 10 pounds of body fat as the claim stated on the magazine in a week. What would it look like? Would it be feasible? What does it entail? Would you even live to tell about it? Would you even want to do it? Uh, so let's dive into this. Uh, and and uh, I think you'll see after I'm through here that for 99 out of 100 people, this would uh, not be doable. Uh, do strictly to number one, the deprivation involved in terms of the amount of calories you would need to consume. And number two, the time commitment in the context of a normal adult life with competing demands that would be required to burn up the amount of energy needed to do this. All right. But for just for fun, let's go through it. So I used a 160 pound reference female who has 32% body fat. I pulled 160 out of thin air because that's to me, in working with my clients, that that's kind of a a normal body weight for for you know not all women but a lot of women. Uh, and 32% body fat that's that's factually been shown to be about the 50th percentile um, where where a lot of women fall. Kind of a normal body body fat percentage for a female. So 160 pounds, 32% body fat. Uh, their activity level. This reference person. Uh, they're. they're somewhat active. Uh, they're doing normal tasks of living. They aren't sitting on the couch all day. They're, they're going to work. They're in and out of the car. They're doing errands and chores. They're playing with their kids, etc. And they're also making it to the gym for one to three light to moderate uh, workouts per week. And I think this is also very typical of your normal adult, right? This type of activity level. Not a hardcore athlete, not doing two-a-day workouts, not training three or four hours a day. Uh, a couple times a week at the gym and just normally active doing task of living. Okay. So with those two things factored, scale weight, body composition, and activity level, I use the catch McCardell equation to figure out this person's weight maintenance calorie level. Okay. That just what they would need for input to match output and maintain basically a stable body weight of 160. And that came out to be uh, a little under 1,900 calories at 1,866, okay? So that's the background work there. Now, if this person wanted to go from 160 to 150 in a week of, of the majority of it being body fat, 
This would require a 35,000 calorie deficit below this person's weight maintenance calorie levels, okay, over the course of seven days. That's 10 pounds of fat, 3,500 calories in a pound, um, and multiply by 10, you get 35,000. They would have to eliminate and create this type of deficit over seven days, all right? And this would come, that, that, that ends up being a 5,000 calorie daily deficit to lose this on average, to lose this amount of weight in a week. I should, shouldn't say weight, body fat, okay? So what does this look like? This can come, that this, this daily 5,000 calorie deficit can come from either a reduction in energy intake, food, uh, or an increase in physical activity uh, and, and structured exercise, any physical activity. For this type of dramatic uh, goal, you would need to manipulate both the energy in and the energy out to have even a puncher's chance in hell of achieving this. So I said theoretically, okay, this person's eating 1,866 calories per day. Um, let's shave 1,000 calories off their daily intake, right, which is actually... Um, over 50%, we're cutting their nutritional intake in half or a little bit more than in half. So we're taking them down to under 900 calories per day, which is uh, an insane calorie deficit. It, it, if I do a little bit of quick math here, um, 16, I'm sorry, 866 divided by 160, this person would be eating uh, about five and a half calories per pound of, of body weight. Let me put that in perspective. I've worked and prepped women for bikini and figure competitions. And over a 16 plus week period of time, at the very end of that prep, they might be consuming seven calories per pound of their body weight. Okay, so and this person is going to have to consume lower than that at 5.5. Now it's just for seven days, but that would still be very, very difficult and exponentially more difficult um, given what I'm going to talk about next. So you have to eat something, right? You can't, I mean, 900 calories a day, under 900 calories per day is, is, is that's toddler level nutrition. Uh, so you have to eat something. You can't just not eat. Uh, I suppose you could, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. In fact, I wouldn't recommend any of this, but we're doing this for fun. Um, so, you know, you have to eat something. So, you know, I kept it at, you know, eight, 900 calories per day. So, however, this person still has to, you know, so the thousand calorie drop in their energy intake, this person still has 4,000 calories left per day that they need to get rid of to reach the 5,000 calorie deficit for the day. Well, that leaves a whole metric crap ton of activity that you have to do. So what does that look like? Well, I went to exrx.net. Uh, it's an exercise physiology website with a lot of cool calculators, and they have an energy expenditure calculator for various activities and various intensities. So I just chose something typical that most people, you know, moderately fit could probably do. Um, at least for 20 or 30 minutes, not what I'm going to talk about, but um, a 160-pound woman who run, jogs at five miles per hour, that's a 12-minute mile, um, that 160-pound female will burn 10 calories per minute, okay? Well, she's got to burn 4,000 calories through activity, so that would take 400 minutes, 6.6 .6 hours, who has that kind of time, nobody, to chew up 4,000 additional calories while only eating under 900. Okay, so I think this becomes slap you in the face apparent that trying to lose 10 pounds of actual body fat, not water, in a week is a ridiculous claim that maybe one in 10,000 people could pull off with this type of caloric deprivation, under 900 calories per day, and nearly seven hours a day of exercise. You would basically not be able to live the rest of your life. Um, no work, no taking care of your family, 
no, no tasks, no chores, no nothing, because you would be on a treadmill or outside on the pavement for the, for your, most of your waking hours. Okay. Or, um, you know, figuring out, preparing your food, uh, for your 900 calorie a day diet to somehow try to, uh, eat foods that are satiating enough to, to, you know, subsist on 900 calories per day. It's not practical. It's not feasible. Bottom line is when you see these type of claims, um, don't just take it with a grain of salt. I mean, pour out the whole, pour out the whole salt shaker. It, it's, it, it's not possible. Um, sustainable, maintainable methods, losing weight, slow and steady at a rate of somewhere between, depending on where you're starting from, how much body fat you have, losing rate, I'm sorry, losing weight uh, at a rate of about a half a percent to 1% of your starting body weight per week will will require a modest calorie deficit, not cutting your, your, your normal intake by 50%. A modest 500 calorie deficit would do that. So for instance, this person, if they wanted to lose weight more sustainably and their maintenance level was 1866, they could drop down to maybe 1400 and lose weight at you know a half a percent per week or maybe a little bit more just fine without starving themselves to death. And it would be sustainable to do that. Okay, so good weight loss would be in that range, a half a percent to 1% per week. If you're starting out heavier, probably closer to 1% for a while. Starting out lighter at a lower body fat, closer to a half percent. That's more realistic, not 10 pounds as you see uh, in a week. Okay, so that wraps it up. I hope uh, this was educational. Uh, and um, if you ever need anything, uh, please drop me a comment or uh you know, contact me. You can find me at PJ Street all over social media. Send me a DM. Send me an email if I can ever help you with any of your fitness nutrition needs. Thanks.